Don Hunter's greatest legacy, for which we honor him this evening, is the Mill Valley Community Center. Over a 28-year quest for an art center in Mill Valley, Don was the central figure in the realization of the vision, working with the community throughout its planning, funding, construction, and opening. Without Don's leadership, the community center may not have been built for many more years and almost certainly would not be the multi-purpose facility that accommodates the needs of thousands each year. The quality of the building and the activities it enables and fosters is something that plays on a stage much larger than Mill Valley. The community center's diversity of offerings for all age groups is almost unprecedented for a town of our size. During his 33-year career in Mill Valley City Management, this Mill Valley native left his fingerprints all over some of the town's greatest assets, such as the library renovation, Bayfront Park, Boyle Park, the Little League Fields, the Skate Park, and the renovations of the Depot and Lytton Square. The Horse Hill and North Ridge open spaces acquired under Don's tenure are invaluable gifts to future generations. Don is genuine and kind, the real deal, a natural and unassuming leader with tremendous listening skills. His special talent is sizing up people's strengths and weaknesses, then drawing out those strengths in a very natural way. Born and raised in Sycamore Park, Don brought to his roles in city management a deep understanding of the traditions of historical preservation and protection of the environment that are fundamental to the character of our town. Mill Valley residents today and for generations owe him thanks. Don Hunter Reading a Thatcher Heard book is like being invited to party with his characters, a dog who turns into a superhero by night, a baby mouse who shoots a pea shooter, a group of naughty frogs. Children jump right into Thatcher's books because there's such warmth and understanding of what they and Thatcher find funny. They identify with his characters, who are mischievous, winsome, and whimsical. Thatcher's books are full of the joy of adventure, discovery, and creativity, inspired in part by his Mill Valley childhood and his second home in Vermont. His books have a genuine respect and appreciation for childhood and understanding of childhood humor. The stories support everything that is wonderful about being a child. They acknowledge that you don't have to be perfect you have to break the rules, explore the world around you, and figure out who you are in it. That's what childhood is for. Thatcher's books acknowledge the importance of kids learning what they can do safely and what they can get away with. They also provide young readers with a glimpse of something cultural that they will recognize later in life, such as film noir in Mystery on the Docks or art masterpieces in Art Dog or New Orleans Jazz in Mama Don't Allow. Thatcher illustrates his books using a combination of painting and computer manipulation to produce a rich palette of colors and wildly energetic forms. His art is free and fluid, almost musical. The language sheer simplicity. The humor child-centered, the plots fast-moving and thrilling. Children feel they're right inside his stories. We are lucky to have a Thatcher Heard to give us his wonderful books, books that stimulate the imagination and yet are rich and substantial as well. Thatcher Heard. Photographer Lisa Christine is as courageous as she is compassionate. In her quest to understand and document the different cultures of the world, she has been unafraid to do almost anything. She will not think twice about going down into a narrow mine shaft to document slavery. She will climb snowy mountains and get lost looking for a village. She will risk her own well-being to help tell a story about people and the world we live in. 
But whether among the Maasai people, at the Vatican with the Pope, or in the brothels of India, she treats everyone she encounters in her travels with dignity, respect, and love. Lisa began her photography work focusing on indigenous people from remote tribal areas across the world. Once she learned about the persistence of slavery, both sex slavery and labor slavery, she became passionate about featuring it in her global work. Lisa never directs her subjects. Instead, she allows people the time and spaciousness required for them to become comfortable. She has the amazing ability to communicate with anyone, even without a shared language. She often moves the camera away from her face to directly look at the people and smile at them, rather than only seeing them through her lens. As a result, her camera becomes unnoticeable. Lisa has lived in Mill Valley for eight years. It is the treasured home base for this nomadic photographer. She was the recipient of the 2013 Lucy Humanitarian Award, which honors the greatest achievements of master photographers around the world. Lisa calls herself a humanitarian photographer. She erases any barriers between viewers and the people she photographs. You can feel the humanity in her images, a heartbeat that is almost palpable. The core of her work is uniting us all as one. Lisa Christine When Winifred and John McLeod purchased the Mill Valley Record in 1991, they began a journey in support of public school education. Shortly after their purchase, when trying to decide how to move forward, their young daughter asked, Why can't kids have their own newspaper? What happened next proved, indeed they can. The record became the Mill Valley School Record. Then, fast forward. Under Winifred's leadership, Fast Forward is both a website and a magazine with a circulation of 20,000 to Marin County students, teachers, administrators, libraries, and families. It is written entirely by school kids. Students conduct interviews with newsmakers such as Hillary Clinton, George Lucas, ABC News' David Muir, and the Broadway cast of Hamilton. Their stories and thoughtful essays provide insights into student thinking and inform educators about how to improve the classroom. Bolstered by their experiences, Fast Forward alumni have gone on to rewarding careers. The publication has won the Golden Bell Award from the California School Board's Foundation and has been featured on CNN. John has been a voice for innovative thinking in education and school engagement in Marin County Schools for more than 20 years. At Novato High School, he helped develop and introduce classes that combine hands-on filmmaking and game design. And at Drake, John helped assemble a collaborative team with teachers and students to develop an integrated curriculum for history, English, and technology. Both Winifred and John are passionate, innovative spirits of high integrity who always put students first. In doing so, they have made major contributions by encouraging and leading educators to create hands-on experiences of immense value to Marin students today and tomorrow. Winifred and John McLeod Gary Yost moved to Mill Valley 25 years ago, and Mount Tamalpais has never been the same. Gary is a photographer, filmmaker, and software developer who, after a productive career creating animation and design software, turned his talents fully to photography and short films. For more than 40 years, he has trained cameras and video cams on subjects that capture his unbounded curiosity. His interests mushroom and branch into multiple projects and films, and no subject compels his attention more than Mount Tam. It's history, people, and future. In 2012, 
After years of watching for fires at the Gardner Fire Lookout on the east peak of Mount Tam, he created A Day in the Life of a Fire Lookout, which became a video viral sensation. It was followed by The Invisible Peak, the acclaimed first film in Gary's West Peak trilogy, designed to raise public awareness in support of the restoration of West Peak, which was leveled to create an Air Force lookout station during the Cold War. Most recently, Gary filmed the musical tribute The Way It's Supposed to Be, featuring the voices of notable Marin County singers and a chorus of 120 Earth Day celebrants. And he followed up his fire lookout film with A Day in the Life of a Watershed Ranger, a 100-year anniversary tribute to the rangers who protect our invaluable watershed. Gary has trained his cameras on more than just Mount Ham, including a performance of Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah by Puddles, the six-foot, eight-inch sad clown with the golden voice, as well as short films about the vendors of the Marin Farmers Markets. Thanks to a depth of Marin County talent and beauty that Gary mines so well, and generosity of spirit that is infectious, we are learning so much more about the pulses and rhythms of Marin and our special mountain. Gary Yost Jenny Wilson, nicknamed the Duchess, is a gifted pianist, composer, and performer, as well as an admired piano teacher. A radiant spirit and generous partner to her collaborators, Jenny brings a well-informed intelligence and playful sense of humor to her performances and compositions. She co-founded the legendary and innovative San Francisco Chamber Jazz Quartet. The quartet plays concerts and jazz festivals in California, and has a national and international radio presence as well. As a pianist, she can move seamlessly from a Broadway show tune to the Goldberg Variations. Her recordings extend from classical to world music to the Great American Songbook. In the 1970s and 1980s, she was a captivating and popular supper club musician at then-landmark San Francisco restaurants Stars and Mooses, and continues to the present day playing restaurants such as the Seahorse in Sausalito, music clubs such as Yoshi's, jazz festivals, and at Mill Valley Community Church music events. She is especially known for digging into the heart of the music with passion and commitment. As a composer, her original music is lyrical and elegant. Her compositions combine the emotional density of classical music and exciting elements of swinging blues and fiery tangos. As a private piano instructor from her home studio in Tam Valley, she has influenced hundreds of young musicians, many of whom have gone on to distinguished musical careers of their own. Ginny Wilson <laughs> 